All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. A video 10 months in the making. You've been waiting. Well, one one of you has been waiting. Yeah, one of you, Mr. Happy Fun Ball One. You made this happen. It's all you, brother. Is it a good thing that this happened? Is it a bad thing? That's for you to watch and find yeah, out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find out. But Howard, what are we getting up to today? I don't know if you've ever heard of this. It's a kind of obscure indie title named mm -hmm. Angry Birds, mobile oh, yes, game yes, that yes. released a long time of course, ago. Of course. In the ancient days of before it actually kind of internet, but not good internet. 2G like internet. 2010? Oh, what, what G were we at for internet? It's like oh, Super no. Saiyan forums. Oh, no. Which Super Saiyan internet we were we at? We smartphones at that point. I, uh, yes. I mean, it would, they were out. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, it was called Angry Birds, and they decided six years after they were relevant to make a, a movie about it. Not one, but two. So we're only reviewing one. You're not, you're spoiled. Don't wait. Wait your turn, Angry Birds two. But we watched. I mean, we'll, pro we'll probably get to two eventually. eventually. It was a good time. <laughs> That's why we're, we're co-hosts on this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we al we always finish each other's sandwiches. Yeah. Sick Frozen reference, bro. <laughs> I love Frozen. It's a good move. Do you want to build a snowman? Say no. Elsa. Anyways. <laughs> uh, the, the, the big monster's called Snowball. Uh, <laughs> Anyways. I'm a Frozen fan. <laughs> wow, we're off to such a good start for this review. <laughs> Frozen. This this guy's got freeze. Shimo's got freeze breath. Oh uh, well, yeah, yeah. And Elsa's he, a kaiju. And he's spewing because he's letting it go. Let it go. Reference. Yay. Yay. I would sing it, but we'll probably get copyright struck. Also, because that song sucks. But that's, that's beside too. the point. <laughs> so when reviewing Frozen, we went in with a mind. I'm sorry. When reviewing <laughs> Angry Birds, we went in with this. <laughs> We went in with this mind state of, oh, I'd rather watch Frozen. <laughs> is that our bit? Is that yeah, is that what we're just we were thinking about Frozen the whole time? Is that is that is that the bit we're going for this for this video? <laughs> so the Angry Birds movie released in 2016, done by Rovio Animations, uh, apparently because of the success of their Angry Birds Tunes web series. Hmm. Uh, so they they decided to you know. Bring in the big guns. You know this is a good movie when they have uh, ten Hollywood voice actors just on the poster, just slapped on of an animated movie. That's how you know it's a good animated. It's true. Movie. Every, everyone knows that uh, Hollywood actors make an animated movie good. Especially when instead of getting like two or three solid choices, you just make the whole cast Hollywood. Movie. Yeah. Just blow the whole budget on. Actually, that's a really small budget. Seventy-three million. That's that's that's, really small. that's, that's, that's it's, it's pretty small, but. You, and it made profit, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it made, it made, it made profit, profit. And some. Uh, so, <clears throat> so what, what? What do we got here? What, what's with the? What's just this Angry Birds? Um, so they're, they're as, from what I can understand, um, from the movie and my 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 minute knowledge about the video game series, uh, there are birds, mm -hmm. and 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 they're they're not happy. They're not happy. In fact, some would say that they are angry, mad even. Furious, <laughs> upsetty spaghetti exactly. in the business industry. It's, it's... So, so the movie starts with. Uh, they also have weird names. I mean, I'm just gonna put it with the, with the red angry bird, named Red. Whoa, red, 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 red. red, red. Um, shoot, we don't have anything else. Red. Oh wait. Oh oh. <laughs> red. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's a, a, a birthday clown, and he's running late to a birthday, and this is like two to three minutes of gags of him tripping or falling and running into stuff. Good old slapstick and children's cartoons. Yeah, you know, you know. by the way, I, 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 we're going to start. This movie was literally made for three-year-olds, yeah. but I hate the intended argument. It's like, Oh, this movie's made for three-year-olds. Why are you adults doing it? It's like, uh, okay, I know it's for three-year-olds, but like at a certain point, we can discern if something is insulting to listen, a three-year-old. Listen, listen, we were once three-year-olds. We understand how it works. I understand the cinematic masterpiece that is the Backyardigans. Okay, shut your pie hole. All right. 
Now, rest Wonder in Pets. Yep. That's that's like peak. Peak media right there. Yeah, peak, peak media. It's like here's here's the order it goes: Godfather, Avatar: The Last Airbender, End of Evangelion, Wonder Pets. That's how it yeah. goes. Okay, and the ten out of tens, DCM official ten out of tens. We'll, we'll let you know where the Angry Birds movie falls in obviously on that scale. That. So he's so like, it's just slapstick, and then he shows up. I don't even know why he's a clown, but he shows up to the party. Matter. He just is. At like the last hour, and then the guy gets mad that the clown showed up late, and then insults him, and then Red gets, he gets like his, you know, the the camera zooms in dramatically. He gets he's, he's his. Getting, he's, getting, he's getting mad. He's he, getting angry. Yeah, like it's a power up. Like <laughs> and I wrote in my notes, it's like Ultra Instinct. It, it does feel like that at times. And he just does like some like. I would say playground level insults, but they're still way too kind because it's obvious they don't want kids saying yeah, of course. like duty face. But it's just like, uh, you know what? You're a grown man. And I like, think Red should have dropped some slurs in there. Oh, dude, yeah, dude. Uh, listen, if they can change things like like you know pluck my life in bird control, there's got to be some puns you could have done. Yeah, with for sure. There were there were enough bird puns to begin with. Like they calling could've... his wife a fat buzzard. Oh, I miss. I think I missed that one. No, I no. I think they should have done that. Oh, should, you know, that would have been good. That would have been good. <laughs> like, like you know, you know, just you know, if they could have pluck instead of yeah. the f bomb, you could have on. buzzard instead of bastard or something or, yeah. or bitch. I don't know. That's 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 clever. Maybe. All right. Columbia, Rovio, Angry Birds three. Give us a call. Yep, yep. We're here. We're here. We got better bird related puns than you got. Yep. Now, so so then he. Gets into a fight with the dad, and then he almost breaks, and then he breaks their egg, which is for their, you know, their recently. He kills a his, child. J.K. The child imprints on Red, so now the kid thinks Red's his dad because yeah. it cracked. And so they go to bird court. I swear this has something to do with the plot, maybe. And he's told he's too angry for society, and he has to go to anger. How management. dare you have emotions? That's not allowed here. It's bro Go to therapy! therapy. <laughs> I, I actually think saying that would have made the film a lot better if he just said it like that. Instead of some pretentious, we are in paradise! You can't be upset! Like, that. Like that's way better. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm pretty sure the judge was played it was, by... It was Keegan-Michael Key. Yeah, it was Keegan-Michael Key. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, yeah, yeah. And he was really good. Honestly, <laughs> honestly like, right off the bat... Charlie XCX was Will... Who was Willow? <laughs> Who is Willow? Give us and I, did I see Blake Shelton there as hold, well? Hold on, we well, one at a time, all right, officer. All right. Who? <laughs> Who is that? Who's Willow? <laughs> I don't <laughs> remember her. All right, where? Blake Anthony, Shelton. Wait, isn't that the Smosh guy? Why was the Smosh guy in here? Titus Burt. What? Uh, Noah Schn. What? Uh, uh, Hannibal Burt. What? Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 why are there so many guest stars? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I love how that it's like, like oh, Fred Ted. <laughs> he's in everything. Yeah, yeah, he's in everything, but it's like, okay, we have to go to Noah the bottom. Noah Schnapp, and that's, this is pre-Stranger Things, too. Max Charles, he was young Peter in The Amazing Spider, okay. Oh, he was, um, okay, yeah, he was in Mr. Peabody, I remember that, but, okay. Okay, Blake Shelton was, Who was Earl. Earl. Who's Earl? Earl. This is a learning experience for us. Don't worry, we'll get there. He was. <laughs> he, was he was the rock star pig. He's the rock star pig. <laughs> okay. Oh cool. my. Cool. <laughs> there was even a there trailer is, that showed him off. Wow. <laughs> he didn't Did he even he have any lines? He just sang. I, I don't I, think he had any speaking lines. I don't. I don't know. Sean Penn is Terrence. Nolan North is Terrence's singing oh, voice course, in the yeah, Mighty yeah. Eagle song. Sean Penn as Terrence? Yeah. Okay. Imagine getting Sean Penn to and just do own, growls yeah. and growls. It even says growls and growls. Wow, amazing. We're so far <laughs> Wait, so both the Smosh were in this oh. in 2016? They were not even relevant at that point. That's so weird. What? Uh, Danielle, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, All right. This cast isn't. I, I was gonna say like one of the right off the bat. One of the my one of the good thing. One of the things I liked about the movie is that like 
for the most part, the cast is actually really solid. Yeah, the cast is... The, I did, Jason Sudeikis, who is the star of the film, is, that, is ironically the only one I'm not, not huge on in this movie. Which sucks, because like, Jason Sudeikis is a good actor, but in this, you just like, eh, yeah, he's there. Yeah, yeah, you know, that... Uh, you know, and of course, as we mentioned, there's obviously the bloat of all these yeah. actors. Um, I mean, some of them are, like, doing, like, like giving it their all. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, Josh Gad as Chuck is pretty good. I don't like Josh Gad. He's <laughs> really good in this. Yeah, no, Danny McBride did a good job as Bob. Maya Rudolph was pretty good as, you know, Hilda. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like, there, there, there is some, you know, the, we're, we ain't hating, we ain't gonna be a yeah, hater. There is, there, there's, there are more characters we'll get to, we haven't mentioned yet, but we'll... Yeah, we'll, th we'll th there it. are two specific ones that like really impressed Stint. me. Oh yeah, but they, we have we haven't introduced them yet in, in our little plot summary. So yeah, we'll get uh, to them. by the way, I know it sounds like we're like waffling, all right, but like we are ten minutes into the movie. Us describing <laughs> yeah. us, I, nothing's I, happened yet. Yeah, literally, it's just that the slapstick, getting mad, more slapstick, bird puns, goes to th therapy. We haven't even been to therapy yet. Then yeah. Red gets mad at a sign, beats it up. We're at minute ten. Well, that, no, that, no, the, he 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 beats up the sign on his way to therapy. Oh, on his that's way like, to therapy. That's that's the, that's a sign for therapy. Mm -hmm. So he goes to therapy, and we're introduced to the um, therapy bird Matilda, along with the other people, which is Chuck, the little triangle bird. He's he likes to go fast, and we have to painfully learn all these people's best. Yes, like painfully. So Chuck's is that he he messed with the bird police because he was stuck in a crosswalk and he likes to zoom. He, he was speeding. You gotta, so, he, he, he wanted out of a speeding ticket. So he so he found out who he was and he did things like stole his wallet, went to parties, went to the guy's house. Kind of ruined this this cop's life, honestly. Yeah, and and the whole time KRS One Sound of the Police is playing, <laughs> and it's completely there, unhinged. There are some very interesting choices for Neil. Like Paranoid by Black Sabbath is there for some reason. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The 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 the, the wild one is it we haven't even got to yet, but like. It is, it is insane. Like, <laughs> yeah, the cover of Demi Lovato's cover of I Will Survive. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, rock you like a hurricane <laughs> before the big action that. sequence. Yeah. Um, so, and then Bombs was every time he gets emotions, he explodes. So that's why he's sent there. And yeah. Terrence is just, T Terrence is strongly implied to have like committed several murders, and because he doesn't, he, he doesn't, he doesn't speak. But so when we, we we see Terrence's backstory, it's just zooming in on him. It's getting a little darker as we get closer, and we hear sirens and screams as it zooms in on his face. Yeah, it's he did bird murder. He did uh, one of two characters to canonically commit bird murder that we know of. Yeah, Again, there's a whole other movie we haven't seen yet. Yeah, no, this is just going off of the first one. So uh, then they they do therapy. We're at minute twenty. I was taught in college if you're at like at, if you're at minute fifteen and the plot hasn't started yet, it's bad writing. It takes it takes a second for things to get. Oh like, yeah, yeah, it so, really does. And then then piggies come in. Uh, it's just a couple piggies. They're on a pirate ship and they come to Bird Island, and they're just. They want to be friends with the birds, and they start hanging out with the birds and giving them adventure, inventions like trampolines and slingshot. Minute thirty. Now, <laughs> we're we're finally setting up the main conflict of the Angry Birds movie. Yeah, and Red doesn't trust these birds of these piggies mm -hmm. at all because he's a jerk. Yes. Uh, so, you know, uh, the pigs have partings and, you know, dance sequences and they, I don't know, and they keep With Blake Shelton. With Blake Shelton. As we discussed. Um, and I have this no note written here, it's kind of, uh, movie is kind of homoerotic with all the butts shaking on screen because they do that, that thing that bad writers do for kids where it's like, how do we make joke funny? Butts. Yep, uh, yep, that'll do it. <laughs> So there's, oh, hey, pack it in, boys. there's constant pigs shaking their butt, mm -hmm. and, like, and like like it's not like like oh haha ha, they're in the car. no no like the camera zooms right, in yeah. yeah right on piggy dudes shaking their butt, 
for no purpose. Where were all the Christian parents up in arms about this movie when it came out? That's what I want to know. So, after like a week the piggies were there, a whole week of non-stop like partying and everyone's having fun. Except for Red. Except for Red, uh, because they, they when the pirate ship came in, it, it, it broke his house. Uh, so he, he goes into the piggy ship and finds out that there's like... He hundred... sneaks on, mind you. He doesn't get permission to go on board. Yeah, he sneaks on with Chuck and the bomb guy, because they're now friends that... They, they poorly established they're, that they're, they're friends. They're, they're friends... Out of convenience. Yeah. They're only friends because, like, they're all in therapy together. Yeah. yeah. Had, they, had they not gone to therapy, they wouldn't know each other. At all. Or care. No. Um, because, you know, Red's, Red's ostracized because he's angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they go on the ship, and they find out, oh, the pit, there's, like, hundreds of piggies just there's in just the bottom chilling. of the they're ship. Just hanging. Chilling. And then the piggy overlord goes, uh, yeah, you know, uh, and then insert sob, sad story, whatever. And then everyone ostracizes Red. And then they're partying again. Yeah, and then Red doubles down that the pigs are up to something. Which you know this because after it turns out they're evil, they start going like, oh, bird eggs. Like all the time. Like, no, literally. No, like, no, you're right. Like, they like, do. Like, like the king just like, like rubs, like caresses a fucking egg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like what? What are we supposed to do There's with this situation? There's a lot of weird imagery in in this movie. Yeah, just in, ge just in general. Yeah, so there's a lot of weird things. So Red decides, you know what? I w I was told in ancient folklore that there was once a mighty hero of Bird Island, the Mighty Eagle, <laughs> lying in the mountains above us. And like I don't I don't know. And I get I, I, he's so he's almost kind of a messiah character. He's like there's. There's tales told about him in schools, but like not everyone. But he's basically, yeah, he's basically God. Yeah, he's, he's basically Jesus. He's bird Jesus. He's bird Jesus. Uh, it's so they go up to climb a mountain in the best bit in the movie. It is a pretty good. Where they climb up the mountain. They, they do a whole completely trite, cliche, boring thing of like, all three of them are going up the mountain. It's it's tough. It's hard for the payoff to be they climb the, the wrong, wrong mountain. mountain. Yep, yep. It's, <laughs> and then, it's, it's, it's a pretty, pretty good payoff, I'll, and, I'll admit. And then, no, to double up on the payoff, then they speed up <laughs> the footage of them climbing, but they keep the shot still, and, like, the first half of the speed up is the bomber bomb crying. Is just, he's, just, he's just, like, like, like passed out on, the, on top of yeah, the first mountain. Yeah, mouth. crying because he doesn't... And then they come back to get him, and then, yeah. <laughs> Which just... That was pretty good. So they go back to the Mighty Eagle. That's the thing about this movie. Like, some bits are, like, actually legitimately funny. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's like, they're, like, it's like ten minutes of trite, garbage, not really that good children's movie. Yeah. And then, like, the most banger 30 seconds of a joke you'll get. And then back to the there, ten There minutes. was one joke that I'll get to that, like, legitimately killed me. It legitimately, like, I had to pause the movie because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> I'll get to it in a bit, though. Yeah. So they go to the Mighty Eagle's place, and they, they go, Oh, the pool of wisdom! And they start to, to go swimming in it. It's like, if I swim in it, I'll get his wisdom. And they start, like, gurgling and it and drinking, drinking it. it. Yeah. And then the Mighty Eagle shows up. They go and hide, and, you know, he's this... Best character, Best the way. character. Oh, Mighty Eagle, but... but Absolutely the best character in the movie. Yeah, like, yeah. Played, played by Peter Dinklage, who's having way too much fun. He, like, I have never in my life seen a Hollywood actor do a voice role for a kid's film have more fun than Peter Dinklage in this movie. And, and how are we introduced? He, it, The Mighty Eagle woke up. It's probably like noon in the Honestly, at, or yeah. afternoon at that point. He just gets up and takes the longest piss it's like a into good the pool. It's like seconds long. And it, during it's that like 60 seconds, the birds who are playing in the pool, Chuck at the bomb, just Abject start horror. crying yeah. because they drank the pool. <laughs> and then the ego just goes back inside. <laughs> Gotta love a good water sports reference in your kid's movie. <laughs> you know, you know, just, it's all part of the game, man. Uh, now... <laughs> So then they, they talk to the Mighty Eagle, and the Mighty Eagle is quite honestly, you know, the, it, the joke is he's like... He's a loser. He, he's out of shape. He's a loser. He's like, you know, I bet they sing about my greatness down in school. And they go, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, sing the Mighty Eagle song, fellas. And he's just making up lyrics. He's like, yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, look at all my trophies. And every time he tries to flex, his gut goes down. Yeah. You know, it's like, 
What? And, like, and then Red asks, hey, can you save us from the piggies? And he goes, no, I got important things to do. And then I think he busts a move. <laughs> this was like made today. He'd like Fortnite floss. Honestly, yeah. And Red gets a pair of binoculars and sees that the piggies stole all the eggs. He was right. The piggies were up to something bad. You may think, oh, wow, Josh. I, I, where, where are we at? 40 minutes into one hour. We are one hour into an hour and a half film. We, fi we finally, finally got to the, the, the plot of Angry Birds. It took an hour to get to the plot. An hour! <laughs> Bro, what do you think you are, Dune? Like, what? what? <laughs> like, that, no, there's even plot in Dune, like, at 20 minutes yeah, in. Yeah, no, no. D Dune doesn't waste any time. But Dark Knight starts in, like, 10 minutes. Why the Batman has a plot within 20 minutes? Why are okay, these? All right, all right, all right. We we can't be comparing the Angry Birds to some of like the best cinema in the past like 10, 20 years. Well, look at him. He doesn't believe ci animation cinema. It's what true. a loser. <laughs> Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse? That's just cartoons for babies. Yeah, mid movie by the way. Mid, mid, mid. I don't I don't know what a Miles Morales is. He should have been um uh, 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 yard yard Jehoshaphat instead. I don't know what a mile is. I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> uh, Meter Morales. <laughs> That's the word I was looking okay, for. Okay, good job. <laughs> you, 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 you recovered at the last second. I, I, I was like, yard? No, that's not right. Meter. <laughs> Listen, why am I allowed? Why do I have to remember what the Europeans think? They're Europeans. That's true. It's very I'm an American. We speak American here. Go team. <laughs> now, <clears throat> the plot is started. Red goes down. And he goes, we got to get the eggs back. And then the town's like, wait, what? Here is where my, the, oh, okay. the joke that really killed me was. Okay. And part of it was me laughing at the joke, but the other part was me laughing at like, how did they put this in a movie for children? So there is a character, a recurring bit character who we get introduced to at the beginning. He has no, not a single line of dialogue. He's, he's just this really friendly guy, and he has a sign that says free hugs, and he's always, he's just a nice guy. He gets disappointed every time he sees Red, because Red never wants a hug. So he always gets really sad when, when Red doesn't want a hug. So Red's here, he's, he's, he's telling the townsfolk about, like, oh, you know, he's, he's rallying the troops. He's like, oh, we gotta go get the eggs back. You know, those, those pigs, they stole our kids. Who, who does that? Would you? Would you? And then he turns to this guy, this perfectly friendly person, who just wants to spread love. And it pans to him. He's got bedroom eyes. And he goes, you look like you would. <laughs> and he, he pauses. The movie pauses for half a beat to get the comedic <laughs> timing right. And I pause the movie because I, for, like, I don't know why that was like the most well-delivered joke in the movie. <laughs> We're just calling a dude who wants free hugs a child-stealing like, tree. <laughs> like, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> why is this in? Why is this joke in the movie? And why is it the most well-delivered <laughs> joke in the movie? I, I like, I, 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 I was in shock. It was, yeah, that was. It, good it broke me. That and also the joke that follows it up because. You know, because now the town's rallying behind Red, and it's like, let's push some boxes and make a boat. And one bird starts pushing. It's like, yeah, let's do it. And then they wrap the bird around the boat. <laughs> and he goes, guys, I'm still on the boat. But everyone just keeps talking, and then they push the boat yep. into it, drowning the bird. <laughs> that was that was also good. But murder, like, murder, 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 angry birds, murder. Wait, actually, there's a lot of murder. Jesus. So. They just immediately take all the slingshots and the trampolines. The piggies left. Town has Red as the leader just because he was right mm -hmm. that the piggies were evil, which you could obviously tell because literally the pigs would do things like, uh, show me this place's structural weaknesses and stuff like that. So uh, the piggies distract them at a party. Everyone, you know, doesn't do it. Take the eggs. So the birds are going to go to piggy land because they left a trail of broken stuff because, you know, the ship crashed. Yeah. You know, a little damage on the ship. So they follow the trail back to piggy island. And then they set up the slingshot, and they go realize, oh, we can just, you know, there's a piggy city. They say, hey, we can play the video game Angry Birds. In the movie, Angry Birds. <laughs> and they, they start slinging themselves, slingshotting themselves into buildings, so that way, you know, they can distract, because it's a big city. 
And then they just magically get powers? Apparently, because that's how it is in the game. But obviously. like they, and they never explain no. this. They just launch people and they just magically just it, now it's have okay. powers. For like Chuck and Bomb because they were pre-established to have those abilities. Yeah, but they never established that any everyone else had because they keep saying like, "Oh, be a normal bird, be a normal bird." But like, wait, that then the metaphor doesn't work because it's like, oh, the metaphor doesn't work in general. So like, okay, so they're weird, so they have powers, right? But then everyone gets on the slingshot and they have powers. But Red gets on the slingshot, he still doesn't have a power. Well, guess because the red bird in the game. But, like, the metaphor doesn't work. I know. The red one doesn't have the, a power. The, the messaging of this movie is so goddamn toothless, it's not even funny. Because yeah. what's the message supposed to be? Is it supposed to be like, oh, you, you don't, you're not supposed to be so angry and bitter in life. But no. Red was right the entire time. He didn't yeah. learn a lesson. Also, There's no point in the movie where he goes, oh... I sh th this this moment calls for for to be for level-headedness. I shouldn't be so angry and bitter and quick to judge. No, there's never a moment of that. He is yes. right. He is He's 100% right. right in accusing the pigs of stealing the kids because they did. No lesson is learned. No character development happens. There is no arc happening. Yeah, yeah. And the worst part is, is that like most of the time, like, so his tragic backstory is that kids made fun of him because he had big eyebrows. And like I get it's a like, yeah. What? <laughs> that was it. So every so he grew up cynical because everyone was bullying him, and then he was ostracized because he was cynical and angry all the time. So he was shut. Like he's even out of the. He's on the beach in a house that he had to build himself mm -hmm. away from the city, like the Grinch. But like the Grinch, if to use this for an example, if you don't mind me, I, don't, I know spoilers to something for a book that came out in I don't know the 1940s, but it was the 60s, maybe uh, the 50s. But like, I don't know my Grinch lore. Oh uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, the Grinch actually was like bitter and angry, and then when he realized that everyone was celebrating because they loved each other, he realized, oh hey, mm -hmm. they don't need all this uh, stuff. They have each other. Yeah. I don't have anyone. You know, whatever. Blah blah blah. I but I have my dog. He has a change of heart. Red's just a cynical jerk. Who's? I don't know. You know what? You know what's also a really good question. Why did he care? Because he didn't really care that he was right in the end. No. In the big scene where he's rallying everyone, like, he doesn't really care that he's right. So why does he even care about the people that's bullying him? What, what to prove a point? They don't but even bully him anymore. They only bullied him as a kid. Yeah, It's yeah. shown in the opening scene that everyone's like, oh, hi, it's, you, 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 yes! perfectly, you compared it to Meet the Robinsons with Goob. Yes, it's just Meet the Robinsons, he's just Goob. Everyone actually likes him, but he's like, oh, no, people don't like me because of my eyebrows. Yes, everyone's okay with him. Like, I get to reiterate, the free hug guy never even did a thing to him. He just wanted to give him a hug. <laughs> like, listen, I, if it, if that free hug guy, if Red had given him a hug, I bet the, I, I bet it would have been fine. His entire, his entire life would have been fine. Like, I, like, like, there's not, like, Red has, like, no character. No character development, no reasons to do anything as a character. Like, no one has any spine in this movie. They just do things because the plot demands mm -hmm. it. And it, it, it's like, again, don't, don't whip out the, oh, this movie's made for 60-year-olds. Avatar The Last Airbender was made for 10-year-olds, and it described Japanese imperialism in the 1930s and 40s to a child, and you all barely know this because you think it's America, you stupid buffoons. What? Are you, like... If they can do that in a show for 10-year-olds, you can make an Angry Birds movie that has at least, like, a 5 out of 10 character. Okay? It's, it's trying so, so hard to be one of those kids' movies that adults can also appreciate. But because of the, of the such toothless messaging, it fails on every Everything. single thing. Because any time any character comes close to, like, going through character development, they immediately ruin it with like another joke. Yeah, a joke, or they cut away to something else because they just think you have exactly. a low attention span because exactly. they don't treat the audience with respect at all. They don't. You know, people whine about those awful Cartoon Network reboots like Ben 10 and like Powerpuff Girls, right? And they think, oh, you know, art's such a. No, it's because they don't respect you. They made that yeah. Ben 10 reboot to sell toys because they don't mm -hmm. care. They think kids will buy anything. This is like a movie that's made. 
But like, oh, kids will watch anything. Who cares? Why put in effort? Why should I even bother, right? It's not like these are the future generation of artists or fucking workers or whatever. You know, who cares? We just give them slop. Yeah. And like, that's just, and you're like, and you're like, but God, why are you guys talking about this? Isn't there still a, a, a climax yet? Isn't there a lesson to be learned? No! There is no lesson. They no just, lesson is learned. Everything, every bird is just slaughtered, thrown on slingshots for the next half hour, and then Red gets inside because they launch him at the piggy tower, and the piggy he does. He performs one selfish action because he realizes one egg is missing. Yep. And then he goes, he goes back to get the egg, but th there's no reason he goes to do that. He's just yeah. like... He's now kind. I guess is this. I guess this is the right thing to do. Which he's been guessing it's the right thing to do this whole time with no character motivation, build up, narrative, and nothing. Nothing. He's just magically doing the right thing. Nothing happens which, in the movie to get him to that point. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you know what's really even weirder? The mighty eagle actually has a better character arc than the main character. Because he redeem he redeems himself. Yeah, because he the, shows up. <laughs> To like help them at the end. Yeah, cause so the mighty eagle refuses to do anything, mainly because you can kind of like get the gist that he's like too scared to come back. Yeah. He thinks he's washed up, mm -hmm. so he's putting on this false bravado. But then in the middle of the climax, he starts gearing up to never gonna give you up, and then flies all the way to Piggy Island without anyone else, you know, cause cause you know, Red's like asks him for help. You know, Mighty Eagle said, oh mm, uh, no. And then yeah. Red, you know, Red's like, I believed in you. And then, you know, that obviously got him going. So the Mighty Eagle comes back and he comes to help him. That's like the one the actual character, character arc in the, the movie. The only character arc in the movie. Oh, other than, I'd, like, Terrence is just nice in the end for some reason. And it's, also it's because he therapist? wants to fuck his therapist. That's what, that's what, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> and listen, <laughs> listen. If I've learned anything from Lars von Trier's Antichrist, you should never fuck your therapist. Those who know, know. That cloaca got him wild. Didn't it? <laughs> also, she like reciprocates only because she realizes he can si he can sing. Yeah. Which is weird. That sounds weird. Especially considering it is heavily implied that he, again, is a murderer. <laughs> oh, this mass murderer can sing. That's cool by which is, me. Which is really impressive since the bomb bird like blows up all the time. So like. <laughs> And, like, that doesn't kill anyone. So, like, the question I have is... How did he kill those people? How did he murder those people? Uh, who are the directors of this movie again? Uh, we have a few questions to them, Mr. Yeah. Uh, Clay Cadis and Fergal Riley. What did, what, what did, what did Terrence do? What, what, what did enlighten us. I'll fund Angry Birds 3. I'll, I'll kickstart it right now, if, if, if you tell me, in the comments. All right, what about sound helpful? What, what did Terrence do? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait,
I have a, I have a thing about the ending. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I mentioned to you before. Yep. So the, the last shot in the movie are like the three, the three little birds from, from like the ones that Red saves that he goes back to save from the uh, the piggies. Um, they sneak out, make sure no one sees them, and they use the slingshot. These are infants. It's been established that no bird except the mighty eagle can fly. These infants, these literal infants, slingshotted themselves towards the water. Again, they can't fly. They snuck out. No one saw them. They are going to land in the water. They are infants. They cannot swim. No one knows where they are. They are going to drown. These infants are dead. The movie ends with babies dying. Ah, yes. S tier. Yeah, put it there. <laughs> All right, so we're, okay. Um, okay, hold on. Are there um, any other notes? I don't think. I, I, don't I, I went through all my notes. Did I, I didn't even oh, wait, we forgot the one thing. This is the, we, 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 I'm not splicing this in anyway. Okay. The scene where everyone ostracizes Red about the piggies, for some godforsaken reason, they decided to play the first verse, only the first verse, of the Limp Biscuit <laughs> cover of Behind Blue Eyes. So I literally have in my notes here, <laughs> in all caps, no punctuation, is this fucking Limp Biscuit? <laughs> I mean, it's, and it's not like, I don't even know what the problem is, because they use classic rock songs, that sound, like Black Sabbath's Paranoid, so they use old songs, who was the dude? Well, you gotta use the Limp Biscuit versions. Yeah, yeah, that push who. But specifically the Limp Bizkit version. If this was 2007, I'd be like, all right, I can see why. This is like 11 years yeah. after that song mm -hmm. came out. What will you guys do? That's like, that's like, like, like right now you're like, hey guys, you know what we're gonna do? Instead of getting Blue Monday by New Order for our trailer, let's get the <laughs> orgy cover. <laughs> and everyone goes. <laughs> Why? And it's like, it's Blue Monday, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, ra ranking Angry Birds the movie. <laughs> okay. Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Is now... <sighs> Did I enjoy it more than Five Nights at Freddy's? Cause... Oh, this is tough. This actually is tough. <laughs> Okay, so hold on, let's get this out of the way. Right. Okay, so we're if we're doing this by numbers, mm -hmm. F is obviously like a one out of 10. Yeah. We're doing this out of 10, right? Mm -hmm. This would be like two and like maybe a low three. Mm -hmm. This is four and like a high three. Okay. This is like five, mm -hmm. five and like six. Yeah, et cetera, et cetera. This is like a seven, low eight, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so. I'm, in that case, I'm, I'm comfortable putting it in D. It has to be at the lowest of D. That's I, I can't. Then that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Angry Birds is like a D tier. This is because <laughs> like the whole point thing about this movie is I wrote it down. And I told you, is that it's it's a clip. You you'd actually enjoy this movie as a clip compilation. That's why so many many you know engagement forms on Twitter go, oh why is this movie gas? And then it's like the the one like one of the ten funny yeah, jokes the, in the movie. The, yeah. It's because it's better as like a clip compilation than like an actual movie. Because the movie part is horrendous, mm -hmm. but like some of the comedy is good. There, I get like yeah, again, there's some legit. And I, we didn't mention this, but uh, Bill Hader as the Piggy King. Oh, uh, he's another. Like, he, he, both uh, he and Bink Dinklage are knocking it out of the park. They're having so. I didn't even know it was Bill Hader until I saw the credits. Yeah, like that's that was Bill Hader's voice because he was doing a real a pretty good voice for him. Yeah, no, it's it and like. Also, for the slingshot scene, for an action scene, it is solid if yeah, you cared about what's going well on. But like, you know, who can, it's it's literally, honestly, it's like bottom of the barrel animation you could yeah. get. Mm -hmm. But like, but, but before you hit borderline, like insulting and like the bootlegs, like little panda fighter or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I I I had it as a three out of ten. I don't know about you. Let me check my letterbox. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Do you do you want my glasses so you can push push them up? You sure, know, sure. Uh, no, no, don't touch them. They're okay. actually kind of grody. I apologize. No. <laughs> Damn, I gotta watch these when I get home tonight. <laughs> now, now I'm curious. When did I watch this? <laughs> it's like a month ago at this point. 
We're, we're behind production. February 10th. Uh, two out of five, so yeah, four out of ten. Four out of ten. All right, yeah, so we're close. That's 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 close enough to agree. Yeah. I, cool. I, I, I Angry Birds, the Angry Birds movie, D tier. D tier movie. Are you happy? Um, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you happy? Happy Fun Ball one. You are a real DCM fan. You are truly a king upon kings. Um, and if you want us to review Angry Birds 2, put type the comment. I, then the emoji for heart, then the emoji for an angry face, then birds. And, and then, then a two. No, but the Roman numeral oh, the of Roman two. Roman numeral two. I mean, we'll probably review it anyways. But yeah, like, yeah. If you could do that, that'd, that'd be cool too. Yeah, that's, that's what we call engagement. Yeah. Like, did you know that when I say, like the video, guys, and make sure to subscribe, if you look under, it actually highlights... Like, like, you know, like people with, who need Adderall when they go to protest and they see yeah. the officer's gun and the glow around it. But it's like that, but like you don't get charged for murder. Exactly. Um, so you can click on those and that does a thing called boost our numbers in the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Nothing is devoted to talent anymore, as we can see with this movie. It's all done by algorithms and committees. And because of that, if we hit the jackpot on these algorithms, we get a thing called views. What is it like? gesticulating it. Shut yeah. up, I'm working on it. it editing, post-production. Okay. Remember, it's not talent, all right? It's algorithms. All right, all right. If I speak to the glowy things, people will realize um, something, and then they'll click the like button. Like the video, like the video, like the video. I'm making the little things glow, glow okay? Subscribe, bring Sub the bell, subscribe, bring the bell. Like the video, like the video. Comment, like the I'm, I'm gonna share. Keep I'm gonna keep doing this till we hit an hour. Like the video, like the video, like the video.